Hey everybody, it's Andy from Snow Camp Europe here um, in Glitch Jet. Well, I'm going up the Kitsan Horn Glacier. It is the second to last day of the ski season um, for the winter ski season, for the winter pass. So my pass runs out tomorrow, but um, I'm not going up to ski. i tell you why in a second. I'm popping up just to bring down my equipment. My skis, boots and poles are all up there. And what happened um, at the start of the season was they got trapped up there when the mountain closed and I couldn't get them down. So I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. I am going to go up and bring my equipment down and then I've got it if needed throughout the summer ski season or at the start of next winter if everything goes to plan and opens up. But yeah, it's it's basically that's it for the for skiing really. I do hope to do one ski tour up on the Gross Glockner. You may have seen I posted some images of the snow clearing up on the High Alpine Road. Um, once that opens, we hope to go up there. But the reason I'm not skiing today um, is one, it's extremely busy. It's May Day here in Austria. But also, um, I have had some problems with my knee, and this is the knee that I damaged a few years ago that is held together with screws and metal plates. And um, it's not been feeling the best the last couple of weeks. I did ski on it about a week ago, and I've ridden the bike a few times because the bike really does help but it isn't feeling too good at the moment. I'm actually off to see a surgeon on Tuesday. Probably end up having an MRI and a CT just to see what's gone on during this winter. Um, it feels as if something may have moved inside the knee, but I only have about 10% cartilage left. Uh, and I'm thinking maybe a little bit of this is broken off or maybe a fragment of bone. Um, but we, we will look at it with the surgeon on Tuesday. But. Yeah, it's been a strange old winter. Obviously, none of you folks have been able to join us uh, here in Caprun. Um, it started back in October. We were skiing. It looked like winter was going to happen. And then partway through November, we were told we had to close again. Uh, this is when I left my skis on the mountain. I thought we were closing maybe for a week or two. And then, yeah, we eventually reopened, as you all know, on the 24th of December. And it was very much, Will the resorts stay open? Will they not stay open? And as you've seen, we've documented the whole of this winter season for you. And if you've not seen the videos, mainly the lives on Facebook, then just go into the video section of the page and you'll be able to see those. Um, you'll know that I spent quite a lot of time in Upper Austria over on the Wurzer Arm, which is now going to be the home to our budget ski camp, which we're hoping to run at Christmas. Um, information on our website about that one. And then I was, yeah, I was backwards and forwards. Um, from Upper Austria to Caprun as and when needed, but didn't really ski a great deal in Caprun throughout the winter. Obviously made the Fisher RC4, the curve video up on the glacier, and we reviewed the folding ski from Milan over in Zalem Z. And then once I eventually came back just before Easter to Caprun, back in Caprun full time and been skiing on the glacier, and you've seen the amazing powder conditions that we've had. Um, over the last couple of weeks. It's about to snow 40 centimetres tomorrow, May the 2nd, um, and it's gonna snow on and off all of next week. So for those people who've got the summer ski pass or they've got the all year round 365 day pass, then fantastic conditions coming next week. If my knee was in a slightly better condition, then I may have considered um, coming up next week to ski the powder, but I think it's time to concentrate on the summer. Caprun uh, in Austria is reopening on May the 19th with different travel restrictions depending on the countries you would have seen we've posted about this over the last week but we are very much now focused on our summer we hope to open our mountain uh, restaurant home over in Bad Fosch um, on the 1st of June um, we've already started to uh, prepare it for the summer basically the whole building is wrapped up for the winter um, the roof is supported with scaffold. We have to go and remove all of that this week. And yeah, we've got some new kitchen equipment going in and a new food menu to prepare. And then, yeah, we hope to open 1st of June, probably mainly for Austrians, uh, locals and Austrians on holiday. And then as the borders slowly open up, as the vaccine uh, picks up in Europe, then maybe we'll see some visitors from neighboring countries like we did last year but it's gonna for sure be a very strange summer again it's not gonna be like a normal summer we're not gonna see the thousands and thousands and thousands of tourists albeit last year was quite busy with, with Austrians holiday in Austria 
Um, but yeah, next winter, who knows what it's going to be like. We still don't know how it's going to actually work, if there will be any restrictions in lifts with masks, uh, if groups will have to be a maximum number of five or six or whatever it be. We will be waiting to find out. Um, hopefully this reopening on the 19th doesn't throw the figures through the roof. Other than that, we are very much planning next winter. We are actively um, obviously promoting and selling all of the camps and the courses. So if you are looking to join us, then please do get in touch. The March camp, um, I think because people have seen what the conditions are like in March this year, the March camp is flying. We've got a lot of bookings for that. Some returning guests. Um, February half term is crazy as it always is. Um, the other camps are starting to pick up momentum as well. If you like the look of any of the dates, you've got any questions, you need anything answering, then just drop me an email or pop up message on Facebook and I'll get back to you. Um, we will still be active over the summer as we were last year, bringing you all sorts of different news about the upcoming season, equipment, the podcast, which you would have seen which was posted today. That will continue as well. Um, over the coming weeks, we've already got another six of those recorded, maybe even seven. So we'll keep you um, busy and up to date with everything skiing and Caprona in Austria um, over the coming weeks. But I'm nearly at the top of the first lift. It's Andy for Snow Camp Europe saying it's the end of the strangest winter season I've had in nine winters. Um, but yeah, we just hope that things get sorted out and we can welcome you all back next winter. It's, um, it's been strange not having you here and uh, we've missed you. Um, Andy for Snow Camp Europe. I'll see you in the coming days, no doubt on Facebook or on YouTube. But for today, I'm gonna go get my equipment and then take it easy down in the village. It's May Day, we normally have a big party, but because of the restrictions, there's no party. But uh, yeah, one last time, it's bye for now. See you later.